Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to exploit Blocky, which is a very easy machine on Hack the Box. We're going to learn a few things today, how to enumerate services using Nmap, how to escalate privileges very easily by checking the permissions, and also how to find passwords from the information that we are given and we're also going to use Durbuster to bust some directories and find more information about this target. This machine is part of a list that was curated by uh, TJ Now here of NetFocus, really good, great guys. And they're saying that Blocky is one of those machines that is good for the OSCP. If you are planning on taking the OSCP, please complete this machine. It's considered OSCP-like. So. Our machine is at 10, 10, 10 10.37. So in our Kali machine, we're going to do a quick ping, 10.10.10.37. We should be getting some responses. So we know that the machine is up and we can access it. So, okay, the first thing that we need to do is, let's do um, an nmap. And we're going to scan for service using self scripts and we're going to scan for service versions so we can see the versions of information and we're just going to go to our 10.10.10.37 this is going to be the default scan the first uh, 1000 top 1000 ports this is not a full scan i encourage you to use the minus p p to do all ports but this one is a very first initial one that i run Giving this scan a, a little bit of time, we'll be able to see that uh, I ran it earlier to save us time so we don't have to wait. The same, the only difference is that I output it to TCP, but we got port 21 for FTP, 22, 80, and 81, 90. Um, 21 is FTP, but uh, before I start poking with FTP, let's look on uh, what, what is there on port 80, 10.10.10. .10 .10 dot 37 what do i have there because that's always uh interesting to see okay blocky looks like our blocks something to do with blocks in minecraft probably okay does it even respond archives here okay so there isn't much here. We are currently developing wiki system for servers and a core plugin to track player sets and stuff. Lots of great. Okay, so there is a wiki in process. All right, so this brings me to our next tool. Derb. Derb uh, is for brute forcing directories on web pages. In fact, this one will go and brute force uh, even subdirectory. Thirty-seven. So if we just do this, it's going to use the command or text and it will start brute forcing for sub subdirectories for us. So as you can see, my usage was not correct. I need to make sure that it's HTTP. And now we are scanning. It will take a while to scan so we can see what we have like as far as the results are concerned. But to save you time, I let this run for a while and in fact it's still running here as you can see we found a lot of things here you need to go through and enumerate and do your due diligence open these I'm not sure why I cannot open these but uh, you want to open these to make sure that uh, you see what's what's there so these are subdirectories that we have found by derb PHP my admin of course um it's going to be there that's a database that's exciting that we have php my admin as one of our results because as you can see in a little bit here we're going to have the ability to try to sign in we need username and password we can try the default php my admin username and password you can look it up on google and say what is the default username and password and try it here in this case it doesn't work was I tried it and I won't waste your time and if we go to our plugins look at this our slash plugins oh, we have interesting things 
And on our website, they were talking about developing a plugin first. So before grief prevention, let's look at block.jar, uh, save, just say OK. And let's open this one too. So if they are developing an application, we might get lucky here. So if you go to my downloads folder, see that I have blocked a jar here in my grieve. So let's um, decompile this. And since this is JavaScript, let's go to line best, best Java decompiler. And first one, why not? Let's just browse. Block to jar, open, upload and decompile for me. Usually people have poor password hygiene. They'll put the passwords in plain, plain text in their plugins. As you can see, it looks like it's done. That was quick. So if we go to dot com, let's see what's in there. My first plugin. And block the jar. Uh, there we go. And look at that. Just like I was saying, public we have a user root and this password. <laughs> this was just too simple, right? We just decompiled that. Now let's go to PHP my admin and do a root and paste that password in here. Go not save that and we are in I mean by this time if I'm in here this guy is the limit now I, I need to see uh, what is in my SQL oh, this is awesome so seriously look at these users user root okay Those are system users. Um, going back to our results here, we, some which we didn't look at, we have WP admin, which is a WordPress site. So since we have a WordPress site here, I'm assuming we also we have WordPress users because the site is going to have users, right? So this is w, WP. Let's try the password in here, root. In the password that we found. okay didn't work so there was no password reuse there however since we have a, a wordpress there we can go to our php my admin and let's look for the wordpress here here's our wordpress and in WordPress, we have the users, WP users. Oh, look at that. Notch, is this password the same? Dollar sign, P dollar sign. No, this is different. Okay, so we have a user. And here's their password. <laughs> So let's sign in as Notch. Come on. I found his password. User email. Uh, what is this asking for? The WordPress. Maybe I'm signing in wrong. Username or email. Okay, let's use the email first. I'm not copying everything right. Let's make sure that we do this correctly. If I do a copy, this is the email address that we are using. Now I want a password. Copy. Should be able to get in because it's a, it's a WordPress user. Pass, paste. Okay. All right, so not a problem. Let's try to SSH as him, because if you remember from our results, 
we do have SSH open. So maybe he doesn't have access to the, do that. Let's, let's try to SSH as him. Yes. Password is the same. Permission denied. Okay, so I spent some time. The password that I found there didn't work. However, just in case it's a hash, let's try this password here. And I spent too much time trying to fi find a way to use the, all those passwords. My SSH here works. So yes, we are able to get in using this password here that was meant for root, but now it's being used by Notch. So let's go back to our WordPress and try that, that again. Then, has it worked? I don't know why it's not working here, but if we need to go back in there, we will. So far we have SSH and we are in. So the first thing that I want to do is just clear the screen, do an LS, and here it is, user.txt. All right, so <clears throat> first part is done. We know that we um, we got the first flag. Now, is it, if you have been watching a lot of my videos, you know the first thing that I do when I get root is ls minus la. I mean, when I get to user, is ls minus la. Just to see if I have anything interesting there. Uh, I do have this Minecraft folder. But before I start poking on these folders, I do a sudo minus L. This is going to show me if I have any sudo permissions. So password for notch. Wait a second. No, let's go back here. Sudo password for notch. Yeah, let's enter his password. Let's see if it, it, if it will take it. Yes, look at this. Notch can do pretty much everything. These permissions here show me that if I do a sudo su, this is just like my previous mach machine Mirai. Sudo su, I just become root. This is just um, easy. So there is no escalation here really. Maybe not, let's see. LS minus LA. Okay, here's the root dot text. This root dot text. All right, so as you can see, this is easy. I can see my root dot text, and the machine is pretty much owned. So what is the biggest take biggest takeaway here? Password reuse should not be a thing. Do not reuse the same password on other th places. So I found this password here to be able to get into my PHP my admin here found this that I thought to be a password, but I got stuck with it. Then I tried the other password, which is something you should always do because password re reuse is a real problem in the real world. And then um, I was able to get in and now I got all both flags. So if you like this type of material, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. It shows YouTube that people appreciate this material. Give me a thumbs up by liking this video. Otherwise, I will see you next time.